having fun yet? I sure am. All right, so here we go. We're going to do another mathematical induction following the same process as last time. So hopefully as we do more of these and as we talk through them, it'll make a little bit more sense as to what's going on and you'll start to get at least the idea of the beginning part. The later steps will come as you do more and more examples and you start to see what you want this to look like. Okay, so let's go ahead. Step number one, we're using mathematical induction to prove that n squared is greater than 7n plus 1 for all n greater than or equal to 8. This is a really weird notation. It just means this. All right, so here we go. Step one is to show that it works. Okay, now... In the last one, we were able to make n equal to 1. We just showed it worked for the first term. In this one, the first term is actually 8. So we're going to just show that when n equals 8, it works. So we're going to go 8 squared is greater than 7 times 8 plus 1. And so 8 squared is 64. And this is 56 plus 1. So 64 is greater than uh, 57. All right, so it works for the first one. All right, step number two, you want to you remember what it is? Step number two is assume that it works for SK. So we're going to show now that it works for N equals K. So we're going to go, we're going to assume that K squared is greater than 7K plus 1. All right, assuming, of course, that K is 8 for the moment. Okay, now we go on to step three. And step three is now to show that it works for n equals k plus one. All right, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go k plus one squared, and we need to show that that is greater than seven times k plus one plus one. All right, so... Step one, like I said before, 99% of the time we are going to write work with, with the left side. It doesn't really matter as long as you can work with one side or the other to kind of get the two sides interrelated. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this k plus 1 squared. And k plus 1 squared, if I square that, becomes k squared plus 2k plus 1. Everybody okay with that? All right. So what I'm going to do now is what we did in the last video, which is I'm going to take this k squared and replace it with the 7k plus 1, because I've already assumed that k squared is bigger than 7k plus 1. So if I put 7k plus 1 in for k squared, that must mean that the left-hand side, k squared plus 2k plus 1, is bigger than 7k plus 1 plus 2k plus 1. Right? So I've put this right here in for the k squared. Now I know that k squared is bigger than this, so therefore, because k has to be positive, right? It's always bigger than 8. Therefore, if this is bigger than that, then this will also need to be shown to be bigger than that. And we'll go ahead and look at that right now. So we've put it in. We know that the left-hand side here is bigger than this one because k squared is bigger than 7k plus 1. And so now we're just going to do a little bit of simplification. All right, one of the things I'm going to do is I notice that here there's a 7 times k plus 1. Now, this is close, but it's 7k plus 1. So I want to write this so it looks the same as that one up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 6 here. But I can't do that unless either I add 6 to the other side or if I subtract 6 from this same side, right? Adding 6 to this side, subtracting 6 from this side, I haven't changed it. So I'm going to change this to... 7k plus 7 plus 2k minus 5. And then I'm going to change this. I'm going to factor out the 7 so it looks like what I have above to k plus 1 plus 2k minus 5. All right. Now, this that I have below is 
less than, of course, that k plus 1 squared that we were talking about earlier, because this is equal to that. So this is less than that. And I want you to compare this statement that you have right here to the statement that we have right here. I'm supposed to be showing that the k plus 1 squared is bigger than 7k plus 1 plus 1. So essentially, k plus 1 squared is bigger than my middle term here. Is this bigger than what I'm supposed to be proving? Well, I've got the 7k plus 1 right there. So which is bigger? 2k minus 5 or plus 1? And the answer is that 2k minus 5 is bigger. Because remember, k is n, and n has to be bigger than 8. And for any k bigger than 8, the 2k minus 5 will always be bigger than the 1. And so therefore, since this is bigger than this, and the middle part is bigger than the end part, that means that k plus 1 squared is bigger than 7 times k plus 1 plus 1. And so therefore, check, we have proven Therefore, that k plus 1 squared is greater than 7 times k plus 1 plus 1. Okay, so some of them will be very direct, like the last one, where you actually just show the two things equal to each other. And some of them will involve a little bit more reasoning and figuring out pieces in between and how those things are linked together. Okay, so that's it for this one. Why don't you watch another?